Saif al-Din Qutuz's life is a striking embodiment of the unpredictable twists of destiny. From a royal beginning, through the harrowing trials of slavery, to seizing the throne of Egypt, his ascent is a narrative of raw resilience and strategic prowess. At the heart of his reign was the legendary Battle of Ain Jalut, where he turned the tides against the Mongol Empire. This story is more than a historical account. It's a journey into the soul of a leader who defied the odds, challenged empires, and carved his name into the annals of time with his daring and wisdom. Saif al-Din Qutuz, originally named Mahmud ibn Mamdud ibn Khwarezm Shah, was born in the 17th century into the illustrious Khwarezm Shah Kingdom of Persia. He was part of a royal family, his father, Prince Mamdud, being a cousin and brother-in-law of the last sultan of the Khwarezmian dynasty, Sultan Jalal al-Din. With a fair complexion and a full beard, Qutuz was the image of a young prince destined for greatness. His father, Prince Mamdud, actively fought alongside Sultan Jalal al-Din against the Mongols. But tragically, he met his martyrdom, leaving behind his wife and infant son, Qutuz. The tides of fate took a dramatic turn when the Mongols, in their relentless expansion, overthrew the Khwarazmian state. This catastrophic event led to the plundering of its territories, and many, including the young Qutuz, were taken prisoner. In a cruel twist of irony, the young prince was sold into slavery in the slave market, a stark contrast to his noble birth. This period marked a significant transformation in his life, as he was given the name Kutuz by the Tatars, a term meaning ferocious dog, a testament to the courage and ferocity he exhibited even in the face of his capture and subsequent downfall. This name would later evolve to Sultan al-Muzaffar, Saif al-Din Qutuz, with al-Muzaffar meaning the victorious, being added after his triumph over the Tatars at the pivotal battle of Ain Jalut. Saif al-Din Qutuz's journey to power was marked by intelligence, bravery, and an extraordinary ability to navigate the complex political landscape of Egypt during tumultuous times. His rise began under the reign of Sultan al-Salih Najm al-Din Ayyub. Qutuz, recognized for his exceptional qualities, found favor in the eyes of Emir Iz al-Din Aybak. Upon Sultan al-Salih's death, Aybak ascended to power and appointed Qutuz as his deputy. This period was characterized by political instability, especially with the brief rule of Sultan al-Salih's widow, Shajar al-Dur. Despite her efforts to maintain power, her reign faced widespread disapproval both within Egypt and the broader Islamic world. As the Mongol threat grew more imminent, with reports of their brutality and victories over Muslims, anxiety about the state's future escalated. The Mongols, having seized Aleppo and left it in ruins, were advancing towards the Levant. King al-Nasir Yusuf of Damascus and Aleppo, overwhelmed by the Mongol advance, sent pleas to Egypt for military aid. In response, Qutuz convened a council in the castle, attended by the young Sultan King al-Mansur, Nur ad-Din Ali, senior statesmen, jurisprudence, and judges. It was during this critical meeting that Qutuz declared the need for a dominant sultan to confront this formidable enemy. Recognizing the young king's inexperience, Qutuz made a decisive move to dethrone him and took power himself, setting the stage for his confrontation with the Mongols. His rise to prominence continued as he became the commander of the armies during the reign of Shajar al-Dur and Aybak. Despite Shajar al-Dur stepping down and marrying Aybak to secure the throne for him, she remained influential in state affairs. Aybak, however, had to contend with the influential army commander, Faris ad-Din Akhtai, who held a blatant disdain for the new sultan. Qutuz's determination and leadership were evident in his words. I will face the Tatars myself, I am determined. Whoever chooses jihad will accompany me, and whoever does not can return to his home, as Allah is his overseer. And the sin of harming Muslim women will be on the necks of those who stay behind. These words were a testament to his resolve, and marked the beginning of his significant role in the history of Egypt and the Islamic world. Thus, Qutuz's rise to power, 
was not just a story of personal ambition, but a journey marked by an unwavering commitment to defend his state and people against one of the greatest threats of the time, setting the stage for his legendary confrontation with the Mongols. In 1260 AD, the pivotal moment in Sultan Saif al-Din Qutuz's reign arrived, the Battle of Ain Jalut. This historic confrontation would not only determine the fate of Egypt, but also the course of world history. As the two armies faced off in the area of Ain Jalut in Palestine, Qutuz's strategic genius shone. He skillfully positioned his troops, with a contingent led by Baibars at the front, while the rest lay strategically hidden among the nearby hills and valleys, ready to support or launch a counterattack. The echoes of Kutuz's resolve rang clear in his words, I will face the Tatars myself. I am determined. Whoever chooses jihad will accompany me, and whoever does not can return to his home, embodying the spirit and determination that he instilled in his soldiers. The Mongols, under the command of Kitbuka, advanced with overwhelming numbers, unaware that they were marching straight into a carefully laid trap. As they approached, Baibars and his soldiers stood firm, luring the Mongols further in. At the opportune moment, Baibars signaled his soldiers to begin the combat. The hidden Islamic forces emerged, surrounding and besieging Kitbuka's forces. Despite the Mongols initially putting pressure on the Muslim army's left wing and causing casualties, Kutuz, observing from a higher vantage point, commanded his forces with precision. In a decisive and bold move, he removed his helmet and with a resonating cry of, O oh Islam, led a charge into the Mongolian lines. This action disrupted the Mongol formation, leading to their swift defeat and the death of their commander, Kitbuka. The Battle of Ain Jalut was not just a military victory. It marked the beginning of the end for the Mongol Empire. It safeguarded Egypt, the broader Islamic world, and even Europe from the Mongolian threat. This victory under Kutuz's leadership also led to the unification of Egypt and the Levant, forever altering the geopolitical landscape of the region. In the annals of history, the Battle of Ain Jalut stands as a testament to Kutuz's leadership strategic acumen, and the indomitable spirit of his army in the face of a formidable adversary. Saif al-Din Qutuz's life story culminates in a legacy that is as profound as it is inspiring. In the annals of history, his name shines as a symbol of courage, resilience, and strategic brilliance. Despite his tragic end, Qutuz's impact on the world of his time was monumental. After his decisive victory over the Mongols at the Battle of Ain Jalut, Sultan Kutuz was not just a ruler, he became a legend. His triumph was not merely a military feat, it was a turning point that altered the course of history. By halting the Mongol expansion, Kutuz not only defended his realm, but also protected the larger Islamic world and even Europe from the Mongol threat. Kutuz's reign, though brief, was marked by a series of significant achievements. He was a leader who uplifted the banner of Islam at a time when the Muslim world faced one of its greatest challenges. His dedication to his faith and his people was unwavering. Kutuz's leadership was characterized by a unique blend of courage and strategic acumen, earning him the respect and admiration of his contemporaries and the generations that followed. His ultimate sacrifice came at the hands of Baibars, who, believing himself more deserving of the throne and considering his significant role in defeating the Mongols and the Crusaders, was likely the real instigator of Kutuz's assassination. Despite the treachery that led to his demise, Kutuz died a hero and a martyr. His victory over one of the most formidable armies in history and his role in thwarting the Mongol expansionist plans dignified the Muslim people and preserved the lives of millions. Sultan Saif al-Din Qutuz's name is eternally etched in the most monumental pages of history. He lived and died by his principles, fearing nothing but Allah, undeterred by even the most formidable of enemies. His story is a testament to the human spirit's capacity for greatness in the face of overwhelming odds. In closing, Sultan Saif al-Din Qutuz's legacy 
is not just about a battle won or an empire defended. It's a story of a man who, from the depths of slavery, rose to the pinnacle of power and changed the world around him. His life journey and his ultimate sacrifice continue to inspire and teach us about the power of determination, faith, and courage.